Hey guys, what is up? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Lakers basketball. So, what's the story today? Uh, what has gone down today? Uh, a lot of little trades gone down in the NBA today. Nothing to do with the Lakers. In fact, on the Lakers front, it's been pretty quiet. So, what are my thoughts going in today? The trade deadline is tomorrow, they say, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What are my thoughts? Simply put, uh, the Lakers got played. We got played and we're pretty much screwed this year. And um, that's, that, that, that's pretty weak. Because going into the season, we thought we all had, what, 50, 53, 55 wins, potentially, if we reached our full potential with LeBron James. What are we at, 27 wins? How many more games left? About 30 games left? Please. We'll be lucky if we hit 35 wins. Did we get that last season, I think? I don't know. Anyway, the season's a wash. And uh, the fun zapped out of every little ounce that we once had. In order for this team to reach their full potential, which we would nitpick every little detail, Kuzma defensive IQ is low. Brandon Ingram only can score with the ball in his hands. He needs to spread the floor a little more. Lonzo needs to shoot well. This and that and the third. That's We're so far removed from that that we can't even get to that level of detail. And we needed that level of detail for the Lakers to reach their full potential. When we're playing at our full potential, we can possibly get to that 50 win season and make the playoffs as a 6 7 seed. Now, so wash. And that sucks because we got to freaking watch this crap for the next few months. It's terrible. Lakers got played. We got played. We're screwed. Every person on the team is on borrowed time. The trade doesn't go down. What's what's the story to our guys? Magic comes in and says, look, we were going to trade you for one of the best players in the league. It happened, this business. We were going to trade you for Anthony Davis. That fell through. But you guys got a job to do. We got to be professionals. That's what happens in this league. Yada, yada, yada. You know what? I expect you guys to do your work, to do your job. They're on borrowed time. Are they going to reach their max potential? Are they going to really, really go all out, risk a knee injury when they know by summertime they're going to get traded anyway? Or they're going to be packaged possibly for somebody else? I don't know how that's going to work, but fact is motivation I think is very low and I don't see how we're going to come together as a team and get back to where we were and get to that point to where please it's over the season's over with Lakers got played we played ourselves the Pelicans is a crap franchise regardless they're not going to win a championship screw them but they're like, you know what? We're going to take this guy. We're going to take this franchise down with us. We played ourselves. Magic got played. Rob Plinka got played. Rich Paul got played. LeBron got played. Anthony Davis got played. played. Rich Paul, he's on our side, obviously. You know, he's in cahoots. LeBron James knows what's going on. LeBron James, AD, knows what's going on. They want, AD wanted to come to the Lakers. But that whole squad, uh, Magic, Rob Planka, Rich Paul, LeBron, AD, they played themselves. They should have been smarter than this. They, need to, they should have known that, come on, AD, we can't go out and announce that we want to come to the Lakers right now. You think everybody's going to bow down? Okay. Go to the Lakers. No. 
They're going to be pissed off that, you know what, you guys are in cahoots. LeBron James is there, the best franchise in the world, um, in, in NBA history. And Rich Paul is there. And now, you know, AD fires his agent and joins uh, Clutch Sports. And you know that's coming. The rumors were out there. He wanted to leave, whatever. You think they're pissed off. New Orleans pissed off. I'm, on, I'm New Orleans. I'm not trading AD to the Lakers. I'm like, screw you guys. So why we should have been smarter than that rich paul should have been smarter than that and said listen ad we can't we can't do this right now we can't announce you want to be traded just play your season dog play your season if you don't want to play risk or you know say you got a finger injury or whatever you want to do just play your season we got to work with this we got to talk after the season's over with after the season's over with rich paul could have talked with the New Orleans and say, listen, Anthony Davis is going into his last year. We're not thinking about re-signing with you guys. Should have been on the low. Should have been a big announcement. Should have been on the low. Shouldn't have said Lakers or whatever. And at that point, maybe they work something out. They're not so upset. They're not, the season's over with. The Lakers had their season, whatever. They got one more year. Now we can start discussing things in the offseason and keep it on the hush. Things would have probably still gone out, but at the end of the day, we wouldn't have had a wasted season. Um, we could have still had our guys developing. We could have experienced our guys developing and seeing how far we got with these guys. Who's a real keeper? Who's not? Um... And then it could have been a discussion with the Pelicans like, listen, we're not going to announce a trade, but AD is not looking to re-sign with you guys. And so let AD now play out mid-season. Now they don't have that much leverage, right? They're not going to ask for the whole freaking Lakers team at that point. At that point, we're, we're looking to do a deal with you guys possibly. And if not, let him, let, let him get traded at that point to Boston and play the rest of the year, only what, three, four months to get traded midway through his last year contract. At that point, he's coming to the Lakers. We have all the leverage at that point. There's no, there's no entire squad put on notice and put on blast and demotivated at that point. So they should have known coming in AD I know you want to come to the Lakers. I know you want to join LeBron. We can't do that right now, dog. It's going to mess you up. It's going to mess us up. It's going to mess up this whole friggin' thing. And that's what it did. Put us in the toilet for the next six months until this summer. Hopefully, things washes over by then. AD moves on to something else before 2020, which is another year and a half from now. And we say, you know what, We're, our focus is not on AD, it's on this. We got played. They thought all this was going to go down this way. Who was, who, who, who made, who, whose decision was it to announce AD? We want to get, we want to, you know, we're not signing right now. Was that Rich Paul? That was a dumb move. Dumb move. We should have known that. I mean, Magic really had no other choice but to try to get AD and put and, and, and put a package together. Obviously, the Pelicans leaked that stuff to make the Lakers look bad and put everybody on blast. And now we have some, you know, fires to put out back home. Either way, we played. We took it. We go. We took an L. We took the L, basically, and uh, this season's a wash. So Pelicans, you win for the next few months. You're not going to get crap anyway. Um, AD's going to walk, and uh, or AD's going to walk, or he's going to get traded, and you're going to, you know, be back in expansionism, like Shaq used to say. But for our sake. We still got the franchise. We were going to rebuild, but, you know, 
you win this round. So we took the L. We got played. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, like, and subscribing. As always, holler at me on Twitter. At MySportsLA. In between videos, catch me up on what I'm thinking about. I'll holler at you guys. Peace.